Okay, here's the result of the adaptive. Obviously, if you're making this part for real, you'd have a finishing toolpath in there. But now we're ready to flip the part. You can see I have the pins. And now I'm ready to insert the part onto the pins. Now let's go ahead and clamp the part down and do the backside machining. Since we're not changing out the tool, we don't need to reset any zeros at this point. Just run the part. Backside operation number one is complete. Now my final contour to cut out the part. Okay, it looks pretty good. You can see there's some tabs left in there that I put in to hold the part down so it wouldn't flop around once it got to that final cut. Let's take it out and see how it looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm going to flip it over. Everything looks, looks correct. So that's how you can do a two-sided part successfully. I would recommend practicing on a very simple part like you see here. Follow these, these steps, you should be successful.